All right, guys, now that we've done our, our calibration and we've done our main setup of the radio, now we're back at our main screen at model one and we're gonna set up our model now. So let's do this. You're gonna click the menu button, not long press it, but just quick press it. And you're gonna come to here, your model selection, and it's page one of 12. And you can add, if you scroll here backwards, you can add up to 60 models, okay? So just pay attention to that. You got 60 models. Well, we're gonna go to model one, right? That's our B default model. So once our cursor is on one, I want you to hit the page button. Now we're on page two of 12. There's 12 pages per model if you wanna set different parameters, okay? The main thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and name our model so that we can, I mean, I would advise you to somehow put like a, a, a sticky, um, like a, a label tape or something because each drone needs to have its model label. So we're gonna call this drone one. Now I'm not gonna put a label on here. I'll let you, your instructor do that. I'll let your teacher do that, but I'm gonna refer to it as drone one. So on my radio, I'm gonna call this drone this model drone one, the other radio would call it drone two and so on, okay? So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna scroll our, our, to right here to model name, we're gonna hit enter, and we're gonna find the letter D to start the word drone, and keep this in mind, if you wanna capitalize the letter, once you find it, press the enter button and hold it for a second or so, and it'll make the small case a capital. So let me show you. So I'm just gonna scroll to the right, A, B, C, D. There's D, I'm gonna hold this, now it's capital. Now when I let go, it moves it over, and I'm going to spell out the word drone, so let me scroll to the R. Let's go to O, let's go to M. Whoa, oh my gosh, I'm sorry. I was, <laughs> N, uh, long day, drone. And then let's scroll all the way to the number one. Sorry guys, I was, in my mind, I was getting ready to spell mode because that's one of the things we're gonna be doing. So I apologize. Uh, so drone one, okay? Once we get to this and we're done spelling it properly, uh, hit exit and now your name is done, okay? Now what we wanna do is we wanna to scroll to the left. When you do that, you're gonna see these things come up, receiver, receiver, module, fail safe, RX, num, channel range. What we're looking for is this thing that says internal RF. That's our internal radio uh, module that is gonna to bind to this drone, okay? So what I want you to do is I want you to scroll down till you get to mode. And right here it says access. I want you to hit enter and scroll to the right. And now it's gonna say ACCST D16. Right. Once it says that, I want you to hit enter. Be whoops. I want you to hit enter because we want to save that as ACC DS, uh, ACCST D16. Now let's scroll down. Channel 1 through 16 is going to stay, so don't mess with that. Make sure your RX num, your receiver number, is 1 because this is model number 1. So let me just show you. Don't go back. Just stay where you're at. But if you remember correctly, model 1 here is what we're working on. And I like to keep my receivers matching the model number. So since this is model 1, this is gonna be RX1, okay? If you have a second model on this radio, you will use RX2 and so forth. All right, so if you have ACCST D16, channel one through 16, and you have model one or RX number one, I want you to scroll to the BND, which stands for bind. Now, let me show you something on your drone, okay? On your drone, let me see if I can zoom in here. Uh, let me see if I can do that without making it too difficult to see. All right, so on your drone, right here right there is this rectangle right beside the antenna and if you press that it, it's a button that you can press that's your bind button okay so here's what we're going to do let me zoom back out now give me a second to get this back on the screen there we go something like that okay cool so what you're going to do is you're going to take something i'm going to take one of my hex screwdrivers here and i'm going to press you may need two people to do this if you're going to be plugging in a battery. I use a, um, I use a battery, uh, uh, an AC to DC adapter, so all I have to do is flip the power on. But if you're going to be plugging in a battery, it's going to be a little difficult to hold this button down while you plug in the battery. So if you need somebody to help you, go ahead and do that. But here's what you're going to do. You're going to, and I am going, for me, I am going to, uh, let me unplug the video transmitter because it may interfere with our camera here. So give me one second here to just unplug it. Okay. I am going to now press the bind button, you can feel it when you press it, it'll make a little click. Press that and turn on or plug in your battery. Okay, you'll hear your drone start up. And what you're gonna see here is you're gonna see a light. You should see two lights. The red one will be a, a much stronger, but you're gonna see a solid red and a solid green light. That means you're in binding mode on your receiver. So then you're gonna come over to your radio. And you remember how I said you get, get to that bind button. Once you're at your radio, go ahead and press the bind button and scroll down to channel nine through 16 telemetry on and click it. 
it'll start chirping okay and you're gonna see that red light if you can see that there it's starting to blink that means that you have bound the radio okay so now what you're gonna do is you're gonna hit exit on your radio right here okay press that hit exit again hit exit again and now you're gonna go back to your main screen you move your radio aside a second and what we're gonna do is we're gonna power off our drone okay it is now bound now if you want to see if the drone is bound go ahead and turn the radio uh, turn the drone back on you're gonna see a blinking green light there and I advise you to take your radio and move it a good five feet away or so and you're gonna see just because when the signals are close they can interfere sometimes and you can see now we have a solid green light that means we are bound good job you're done that is the binding process guys so we're gonna stop here and then when we come back we're gonna to go to set the channels on your radio so all your switches and your sticks work properly okay so we'll be right back